I get asked constantly, Sean, what's the best hook knife to use for spoon carving? And that's kind of a loaded question because a lot of things are to be considered there. Um, what style of spoon do you carve? Do you carve big forms like cooking spoons, deep forms like ladles and scoops, or do you carve a more shallow form like what you see here, Swedish style eating spoons, which is kind of what I specialize in. Um, or are you looking for something that covers all those bases? Because that's not, that's not something easy to find. And while that's not easy to find, it's not impossible to find either. Um, I've been working with a smith named Jason Lonan for the past several weeks, trying to nail down what I think is the perfect knife for not just my style of carving, but um, many styles of carving for the people that carve cooking spoons and carve deep ladles or um, you know, carve shrink pots or, or whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of people want to have several different hook knives to do several small jobs. And I think it is possible now to have one hook that does it all. For me, the knife I've been working with, Jason Lonan on, of Jason Lonan Toolmaker on Instagram, I think this is the perfect one, at least for my style of carving and the, and the styles that I do most. Um, the radius on this is amazing. It's shallow here at the first, you know, the first half of it or so, maybe a little more, for doing more shallow cuts like at the beginning of the bowl here. It's deeper, it's a tighter radius at the tip of the blade so that as you're doing the back of the bowl towards the shoulders, you can carve it deeper because that's, if you're eating a bowl of cereal, that's where all your milk's gonna sit. You know, if you're eating something with a loose liquid like that, so you have to have a deep spot on the bowl or else all your milk just falls off. Um, not only that, but when you're finishing up your spoon and you're trying to clean up that transition area, it is absolutely perfect in its shape to clean that up. Like I said, I've been working with Jason um, nailing down some some little particulars about his design and mind you his design was was great to begin with but there were some tweaks that you know I got a hold of Jason and I said is it possible to to do this to it or to change this about it and Jason was very very receptive we had a phone call we've had some texts we've had some good co correspondence together um, to to try to bring his experience and my own together to make something that I think is going to be a perfect knife for anyone that's beginner level, intermediate level, or expert level. And I'm not going to presume to say where I am on that spectrum because that's, that's kind of probably a matter of opinion. Um, but that's not what's important. What's important is that this is not something that's a two-year wait. It's something that's expert, expertly crafted by someone who, who knows how to carve spoons and someone who does, does well at green woodworking. And that's kind of a key too. If you don't carve, but you want to make implements to carve with, you're going to run into some problems. And before I even got one of these hooks in my hand, Jason had a really, really solid foundation. You know, he knew what he wanted to make and, and the particulars of it. And once I started carving with it, I gave Jason a couple suggestions. And now there's the hook that you see here. And this thing is absolutely amazing. And mind you, I've got, I've got so many hooks from, from several different makers, some of them being, you know, well-known blacksmiths and some being mass producers of hook knives. And obviously it's easy to lean towards um, a cheap knife because it's easy for you to get a hold of, but a cheap knife is generally going to give you a cheap feel and a cheap finish. So I, I always say buy the most expensive knife that you can afford so long as it's doing the job that you want it to do. Don't go out there and spend $400 on a hook just because it's a, a high-end name and it's rare or, or anything like that. You need to buy the hook that's going to do the right job. And for what I've done with this hook over the past several weeks, it does the job flawlessly no matter what, no matter what I throw it at. Um, I've just picked up pieces of seasoned cherry out of my firewood pile and carved away at it. And I'll count to 100. I'll do 100 cuts with it. I've had no problems with the edge being affected whatsoever. I've not even had to strap these knives, not once. And for, for someone who's a production carver or someone who doesn't have a lot of time to carve, you value your time. Whatever time you have doing spoon-related things, you really value that time. So 
you would much rather be carving a spoon with a knife than maintaining a knife. So with a knife like Jason's, you're gonna spend more time doing what it's meant to do and less time maintaining it so you can do those things. Um, so just a little bit about it. I've, like I said, I've got a lot of hooks. This is the widest from spine to cutting edge of any of the hook knives I have. And originally I thought that was gonna be a problem. But with the tweaks that Jason's done to his design, I feel it actually it actually lends itself to being a more rigid knife, a better knife. Um, Jason also makes sure that the the spine here is is nice and rounded. That way, if you have to leverage using your your finger here, like the edge of your your knuckle, it's not going to bite into you and, and cause you any damage. Um, it's got a great tapered design, which means that as it enters the wood, it it does so gradually. It's not. A crazy positive bite that digs too deep before you realize how deep it went. Hopefully you can uh, kind of see what I mean, it being tapered back towards the tip. Also Jason's forged tram lines into these so that sharpening is going to be much much quicker than something that has a you know a, a solid belly here. Um, I expect that this knife, if taken care of, will probably take care of the user for, for years and years and years. And I've, I've carved probably upwards of 20 spoons with it at this point. And that's between roughing out and finishing. And um, like I said, I've also worked with just dried wood just to put it through the paces and, and, and really put it through the ringer, you know, make sure that it's not got a weakness that, that I didn't know about because I don't want that popping up later on when it comes to me carving somebody's spoon that you know, they might spend $50 on, they're gonna expend, they're gonna expect $50 worth of spoon. And this kind of knife allows you to, to give them that quite easily. Um, also, Jason's sheaths are, and mind you, I'm not the biggest fan of leather hook knife sheaths. A lot of them have buckles and snaps and straps that are just really cumbersome and, and, uh, and, and difficult to, to use without cutting yourself when you're you know the blades re-entering it these ones are really easy it's a nice positive fit you literally just put this end in first and push it down and you're good to go it's nice thick leather um you know wet formed and everything so it's going to keep that shape and it's it's a pleasure to use that being said because i am who i am um i will probably make a a wooden hook knife box for this one just because every other one of my hooks has that um, but these sheaths that Jason makes are very, very nice. I think Jason charges somewhere around a hundred dollars for one of these knives. And some people might say, oh my God, well, I can get, you know, such and such brand knife for $20 or $50 or whatever. And, you know, again, it's how much money do you want to spend on a knife and how well do you want it to treat you back for that money? I can go buy a Mora for, I don't know, $25 or something like that. And I own a Mora. Mind you, I never use it. I never use it because I have knives that do the job better. And that is why from now on, this will be my go-to knife. I've got knives from respectable makers that cost more than this knife that I will not be using because this does the job better. I don't care how I look on social media or how I look on YouTube and someone going, oh, well, why aren't you using such and such? They're a better maker. I'm going to use what fits me best, and this is the knife. I have no problem telling people... Um, you know, if a Mora 164 did a better job than this knife, I'd have no problem saying that on camera. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, but the case is here that Jason Lonan's knives are absolutely phenomenal. They're expertly crafted. And um, he knows what he's doing with them. So, again, on Instagram, Jason is Jason Lonan Toolmaker. And his last name is spelled L-O-N-O-N for those of you who want to look up on Facebook. Um, he's got a website as well, which you can find through his social media. Um, if you don't see one of Jason's hook knives for sale and you're interested, definitely get a hold of him. That's what I did. I called him up, or I, I got a hold of him on Messenger, rather, and uh, I said, you know, what do I got to do to get a knife? And Jason will walk you through the steps of how, you know, what it takes for you to get one of his knives. Um, I will say this. The amount of time that, that Jason puts into his product is because he's obviously proud of what he makes and he wants the owner of his tools to be proud of what they buy from him and what is created with the tools that he makes and to be totally honest you know I've I've been in a position for a while where I've been pretty proud of, of the spoons that I carve and um, you know I, I really enjoy my craft 
but having knives that that make your job easier it makes it so that it's less of a job it's it's for me it brings fun back to carving again i've gone through times in my life where i'm like man i don't really want to carve you know and i, I go through these little slumps but then you get something like this in your hands and you get this renewed faith in yourself. You get better results and, um, you know, it's exciting again. And that's kind of what this craft is all about is bringing handmade objects back, putting them in the public's hands and having that pride and ownership again. Because this is not a plastic spoon that I got from a McDonald's drive through window. This is not a metal spoon that I bought at Walmart. This is something that was crafted with my own hands, as is this knife. And there should be some pride behind it. So again, check out Jason's uh, social media feeds, Jason Lonan Toolmaker on Instagram and Jason Lonan on uh, Facebook. And get your hands on one of these because this is this is absolutely worth every penny and then some. Um, I think you get more than $100 out of this knife very, very easily. And I think anybody that has the means to buy one of these should because you'd be a fool not to. So thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, drop some comments below and I'll see you in the next one.